Hey guys, what is up? It is TrueKiller360 here, and today I'm talking about PlayStation partnerships. Now, Sony is very quickly becoming the uh, the first, I don't know, the go-to publisher for all these uh, the games. So, in case you guys know, may or may not know, uh, one of the biggest things so far is Black Ops 3 DLC is coming to PlayStation before Xbox. This is a major change considering in the past it's always been Xbox before PlayStation. So, you know, there's been quite a few games that are actually doing this, like Street Fighter V, uh, Final Fantasy VII, you know, plenty, plenty more that are actually jumping to Sony. And uh, PlayStation Europe boss Jim Ryan explained to GameSpot why Sony is managing to get these, or how, I guess, they're managing to get these partnerships when it seemed to be difficult in the previous gen. He says, and I quote, I think a few things have changed. It certainly makes discussions with publishers easier when you have a significant installed base. And one that is the fast growing and one that is noticeably further ahead than the competition I wouldn't say we're becoming the industry's default option because there are other factors that come into play, such as amounts of cash, but I would say that we're starting to become the first thing a publisher thinks about when they're considering partnerships. You know, there's a ton of games out there that are actually pretty much either PlayStation exclusive, PlayStation gets, PlayStation gets stuff first, and, you know, I believe... Um, Star Wars Battlefront is actually uh, giving PlayStation, I don't know if it's DLC first or if it's exclusive DLC, so we'll basically have to see with that. Um, and uh, he uh, continued talking about saying, and I quote, Certainly in the UK, it's still rather close when compared to the Xbox One sales, but we have been edging ahead every month. But across Europe, it's fair to say that we've been beating Microsoft by a considerable margin. Once you get into that position, the popularity of the console can start to become its selling point. So when you look at the drives of sales of a console, obviously exclusive games do help, but if you have the 75 to 80% of the market, it makes the system easier to sell. So uh, what do you guys think about all this? Personally, I'm loving it because I have a PlayStation and uh, you know I, I personally feel like exclusives do hurt the gamers themselves but they do help the consoles a ton so uh, PlayStation starting to get more and more partnerships more and more deals and we'll basically see how many more end up coming around so uh, yeah it's, it's pretty exciting for myself and it should be for all you other PlayStation gamers out there and I apologize you Xbox gamers that you may uh, start losing partnerships you may have to start waiting you may not get exclusive content like PlayStation may get and you never know it could be the other way around Xbox could just all of a sudden just start doing that personally I think it's because the PlayStation is so easy to use it's so easy to get that 1080p 60 frames a second while Xbox is struggling to get 720 at 30 frames you know PlayStation did a fantastic job and I definitely can't wait to see what other stuff they can do and it was leaked a little while back that PlayStation is partnering with Mountain Dew for Black Ops 3. So we'll probably see some double XP or whatever they end up coming with or coming up with there. So, uh, you know, a whole bunch of stuff coming. And we basically have to see, let this play out and see how this is going to be. So that's all I have for today, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day and peace out.